Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover how to create project, then test suite, and then test cases. This is the diagram that we need to follow. We are going to start by the workspace. So one workspace can have multiple projects. Each project can have multiple test suites. Each test suite can have multiple test cases and each test case can have multiple test steps. So the hierarchy will be in workspace we can have project. Inside project we are going to have test suite. Inside the test suite we are going to have test cases and then test steps. Moving to the SOAP UI. So here is the workspace. I'm going to create a project over here. Right click on the workspace and we have the option of new project. I'm going to create a new project by using SOAP WSDL file. So I click OK and here it asks for the WSDL and the project name. So I'm going to use this WSDL that's a free WSDL which we can use for practice. So I have given the URL of this WSDL file. Here in the project name I'm going to enter the project name is get country information. We can give any name to the project. Here I click on OK and my SOAP UI is going to scan this WSDL file and loading all the features or the services provided by the SOAP web service. So here we get lot of features or the services provided by the particular web service. So my project is created. Double click on this project. On the right hand side, here we are going to get a project view. So here in the project view, it display complete information like how many test suites we have, how many test cases we have, what is the visual file that we are using. Many other information related to the project can be seen over here. So I have created a project. I'm moving to the test suite. To create a test suite, right click on the project, new test suite. So here we need to give the name of the test suite. I'm giving smoke test suite. And here we can see a new test suite is created as you double click on that. So we can see the suite window. This window shows all the test case that we are going to create inside the test suite. So now we have a project inside the project. We have a test suite. I'm going to the test suite. I want to create a new test case. So right click on the test suite new test case. So I'm giving the name of the test case is case one. So my test case is created. So we can see we have a project inside the project. We have a test suite inside the test suite. We have test case. As we have seen, we can have multiple project. Each project can have multiple test suites. Each test suite can have multiple test cases. I'm going to create multiple test suites. I want to create one more test suite for that. Right click on the project new test suite. I'm giving the name. It's like sanity suite. So here we can see one more test suite is created. So we have two test suites now. As we have seen, we can have multiple test cases inside the suite. So here in this suite, we have only one test case. We can create multiple test cases over here. Right click on the test suite, new test case. So I have selected new test case and I'm giving the name. It's a case two. So we have seen we have created two test cases inside a test suite and inside the project. We can have multiple test suites inside a test suite. We can have multiple test cases. So here we have seen we can create multiple project inside workspace. In a project we can have multiple test suites. In a test suite we can have multiple test cases. 
Inside the test case, we can have multiple test steps. Thanks for watching this video. Hello friends. Hope you are enjoying our videos. Here we have created lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers. This is the list of our courses. We have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in $200. If you want to buy any 10 courses, you can take it in $100 and you can buy any individual course in $15. You can contact us on email or the number which I have provided for these videos.